Hello and welcome to Chicken Bros. Oh shit. <laughs> My name is David Heath. And I'm a bubble boy and double baby. <laughs> And we're here to talk about uh, one of my favorite Nickelodeon movies, the Spongebob movie, the first one. The, the very one. first one, the last one that Steven Hillenberg was involved with. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Steven Hillenberg. Uh, yeah, this was Spongebob's debut on the silver screen, and so far the only good one. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Uh, but... If you're like us and you miss classic Spongebob, then this is the review for you because this movie is a classic. It's the last of the classic Spongebob we ever had because soon after that... And this movie is... Silly. Like, Spongebob silly. than you could ever imagine. Like, it's so silly that it's not even silly. It's silly. Silly. Friends <laughs> Um, yeah, um... Features all the classic SpongeBob characters. What happened and, in it is that it's the grand opening. Well, first, of... it opens up with a pirate crew, like a live action pirate crew. They <laughs> I'll get be a honest, treasure. When I saw that in the movie theater. I was really confused. I'm like, is this the right movie? I was like, wait, is this supposed to be a SpongeBob movie? This is and then I was the like, Caribbean, isn't it? <laughs> Except for the budget, I never thought I'd see it with my own eyes. <laughs> there goes the last SpongeBob movie. <laughs> Well, when he said like that, I was even more confused. I was like, but I thought I was watching the movie. <laughs> yeah, we didn't like understand really fourth wall breaks back then. Yeah, and then they start singing the theme song, and I was like, oh, it's a big... Who lives in a pineapple near the sea, Spongebob Squares. All that. male pirate crew singing the song, like, that was really interesting. Like, I like that version of the song. Me too. And they end up in a movie theater, basically, you know, make a hell of a mess out of it. A big mess. Barging into the front row seats, which are the worst seats in the house. Right. And proceed to watch the Spongebob movie, which is this movie. <coughs> and it starts with a dream sequence. Of course, you don't know that yet. We got a situation in there. I thought it was to be my Andrew gets here. <laughs> we, the customer ordered a Krabby Patty with cheese. When he took a bite, no cheese! This one was like, get a hold of yourself, Eugene. <laughs> I'm going in. And he, it looks like a, like a bomb defusal operation. SpongeBob, all he does is puts cheese on the patty and then walks out. Order up. Everyone cheers him. Three cheers with the manager. Hip, hip, ha. Boom. <laughs> That's his alarm clock wigging him up. Turns out. Hooray. Gary, I had that dream again. <laughs> it's finally going to come true today. Sorry about this calendar. Because he's the Grand Alexander and he wrote the Krusty Krab too. And Mr. Krabs will announce the new manager. Yeah. Well, who's it gonna be, Gary? <laughs> well, it says I want to be very 74 consecutive employee of the month awards. Bye, bye, Krabbies. <laughs> I'm ready. Promotion. Yeah. Quick fact. So Data and I actually did the math. Yeah, and 374 months equals to more than 30 years. So, Spongebob is either really young, or time in Bikini Bottom is different than time on the mortal realm. Or possibly, we're overthinking this because it's a cartoon. Yes. And we also, didn't care when you were... you wouldn't notice this unless you looked closely, but if you watch this movie and look at the order in which his pictures are stacked, they the, the months do not go in order. Just something to point out. Anyway. Yeah, Mr. Krabs has made a second Krusty Krab because money. <laughs> yeah, what if I do the second Krusty Krab right after the original? Money! <laughs> Curses! <laughs> it's not fair! Crashing me by Crash Perkins, I never even had one customer! Custom yeah, Plankton's still running. Don't get worked up again, Plankton. I just mopped the floors. <laughs> uh, so. Yeah, Pl Plankton's still running the rundown chum bucket that's not getting any kind of business. And he has a filing cabinet of all his evil schemes, and he says he's exhausted every single one alphabetically. A to Y. A to Y? Hey, you know, the alphabet. <laughs> what about Z? Somehow he overlooked the letter Z, reads it, and it folds down like a porn mag. Nice one. And Korean. we are both very sorry to, that we understand that joke. Well, we didn't understand yeah. it back then. Not back then, but now that we're adults and we've unfortunately delved into that, down that rabbit hole. 
Now that we're men. <laughs> now that we're men. <laughs> but yeah, he he reads this plan and it's the best one he's ever done. He thinks it just can't possibly fail. It's evil. It's diabolical. It's lemon scented. It's lemon scented. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh hell, Biden! Oh hell, Biden! Ow! 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 You were thinking saying something. Ah! <laughs> ah! 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 something. Oh, and someone you twit. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> that was so, that was like so, the most painful. Ugh! That was ugh! Agonizing. Yeah, and Mr. Lawrence does a good job doing those screams. Mm -hmm. So I should mention, there was a scene before this that Spongebob went to Patrick and said, after my big promotion, you and I are going to celebrate, and we're going to party till we're purple. No, we're purple, purple. purple! He says, we're, we're going, going to, to place, place where all the action is. You know me. Oh, I mean. Goofy, Goofy 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 Goofy. Yeah. And then Patrick says, look for me at the ceremony, I got a little surprise for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. A little surprise, all right. And at the <laughs> ceremony, Mr. Krabs says, "What's like? Our new manager is a loyal, hardworking employee. The obvious yes. choice for the job. He's right. And name you all know, it starts with an S. That's me. Give it up for our new manager, Squidward Tentacles. <laughs> yes. Like yeah. we, like Mr. Krabs said it real quickly. Like, let's just get this shit over with." And Spongebob's yeah. cheering as if it was him. Like, I guess he wasn't listening. Nope. <laughs> People of Bikini Bottom, as the manager of a Spongebob, hold on one the important news type, Mr. Krabs. Go ahead, Mr. K. Are you going to quote this Jack whole movie like, throughout this whole review? What? Are you going to quote this whole movie through the whole review? Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, Spongebob does not get the promotion. He's all, like, sad about it. And Mr. Krabs' reasoning behind it is because being manager is a man's job and Spongebob's a kid. Yeah, he worked there for 30 years, but he's just a kid, right? Yeah, and he says Squidward's more mature than you. Yeah, the guy who sits on his ass reading interpretive dance quarterlies is more mature than Spongebob, who does his fucking job. And likes it. Yeah, and likes it, no matter how little you pay him. damn good at it. Yeah, he doesn't care what you pay him. Money's not, he's not... I don't care about your money, Mr. Krabs. Grilling is Grilling my passion. Grilling is my passion. I believe I heard Spongebob say that. Yes, he did. Yeah, so Spongebob slumps to the Goofy Goober saying, I'm ready, depression. Relatable, Spongebob. And then, <laughs> hooray for Spongebob! <laughs> Patrick swoops in, holding on to it like a gliding flat, uh, like... Uh, his pants, basically. Pretty much his pants, yeah. Naked. With a flag in his ass that has SpongeBob's name written on it, and crashes into the the, the whole thing and starts a fire out of it. What's up, for SpongeBob? Hello? Where'd everybody go? Did I miss something? Did you see my Did butt? you see my butt? <laughs> oh man! And uh, as the narrator says later that evening, Pointed puts his plan into action, which is starting to steal the royal crown of King Neptune. Who, not by the, the Neptune way, from Neptune spatula, by the way. Yeah, not the same. Yeah, it, that was weird. It's like a different design, different actor. I don't, I don't get it. But um, like that, ne like the Neptune from Neptune spatula was like the god Neptune. Yeah, and this guy, this guy's, like, this guy's like the president, more so, or like an official. Yeah. So it's King Neptune, played by I don't remember his name. Some guy. The, okay, so. I don't know the actor's name, but I know he played the mayor in Jim Carrey's Grinch. So that guy. That asshole. That son of a bitch. <laughs> He's probably like an okay dude, I don't know. but Probably, but... The King Neptune's like this tough, mean king. They bring this prisoner in, he's like, So you've confessed to the crown of touching the king's crown. Yes? Well, yeah, and the crown polisher. And the, he's the crown polisher. He's like, well, then I can't execute you. 20 years in the dungeon it is. It's like, oh shit, this guy... Kind of and then Black Widow, I mean Mindy, he's like... <laughs> His daughter Mindy played by Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, that Scarlett Johansson. 